This coal-fired power station has closed and soon the cooling towers will be demolished. Most of our nuclear power stations are also approaching the end of their lives and concerns are growing that in the years to come the lights could go out in Britain. Nuclear power in 2012 generated some 19% of our total consumption. But without planned replacement plants, this would fall to just 3% within 20 years. New wind and solar renewables will become more important, but extending the life of nuclear power plants is a significant issue, as is the construction of new nuclear stations, if we are to have a reliable electricity system. Of course, these trains run on electricity. They need power to match the timetable, not to match the wind or the sunshine. They don't want a regular power supply. They need stable power that runs continuously. This is known as baseload, and nuclear power is a good source. My policy research at Cambridge University, and now at the Open University's Faculty of Maths, Computing and Technology, examines nuclear power's role in our energy market. Energy policy balances environmental impacts with concerns for reliability and affordability. There is no one energy source that can feed these power lines that is best suited in all three domains. Nuclear power is low carbon and baseload, but it's not cheap, and its high upfront costs are especially off-putting to private investors. Typically, a nuclear plant requires 60% of its lifetime expenditure upfront. In comparison, for a natural gas fire plant, it's typically just 11% upfront. The challenge for nuclear power will be to lower construction costs and to establish policies sufficient to get past the natural short-termism of the market. 